Greetings, Light Tribe. Janine Palmer here to talk to you guys today a little bit about alcoholism, okay, and how that affects the person and the life of the alcoholic who's not engaging uh, in that sort of activity, okay? So, I'm speaking from experience. When you don't choose to imbibe, okay, in that particular demon, but you're faced with the, I want to say the energy that that creates. Okay, so this is my limited perspective on it. This would be my educated guess from knowing someone for 18 years um, who people like their whatever they do some people smoke some people drink you know people have their different vices or whatever and that's their journey until it affects someone else okay and then it's that person's um, choice to decide whether they're going to stay in that situation even when it's destroying families and relationships okay so what I want to talk about is this would be my perception so alcohol is a substance that people use to numb their pain or is it a mask they hide behind or is it both okay so when someone is in the habit and or addiction okay of using this as a band-aid it's a depressant okay and it lowers your energy I don't know um, it puts a person a different energy and so that's destructive to the loved ones in your life really do they not know that? Do they not care? Um, they don't want to see it. So that person who has been drinking all day long wants to um, be in their sort of depressed state of lower energy. Okay. And um, I don't know if what they're doing in that state, really. Okay. I do know it doesn't serve them. And so then they are, um, maybe they try to engage you in an argument or draw you into that lower energy bullshit hell that they're living in that you didn't sign up for, but you kind of did um, if you're in a relationship with that person and you have to constantly put up with it and it's terribly destructive. So then you have to decide how long are you going to stay in that situation? That's not your journey. But you care about someone so you're with them even though there's neglect and certain types of abuse verbal mental emotional abuse whatever and maybe that's from the substance okay so if a person can't realize that they're destroying parts of their life because there's parts of their life that they will not face they can't face the situations that they went through that were painful that they're burying and then numbing it with alcohol. Oh, let's try to see if that band-aid will work. Not. It never does. Okay, it doesn't work. So what are the demons? Oh, when I was growing up, that thing happened, you know, my parents fought, they didn't get along. It was hard for me. Oh, my first relationship failed and that was hard and I never really got over it because I buried everything because I didn't process and release it then my other relationship failed and that affected me hugely okay and i didn't process it and release it so i buried it so i feel depressed so then i drink alcohol that's a depressant so then i'm more depressed nothing's getting fixed things are getting destroyed okay what if we sit with those things that were painful okay and um Ask ourselves, what do we learn from it? What can we take away from it? Even if it's a message to help someone else that's going through it, to help them pull themselves out of it. 
if they ask you. What did you learn from it? That's why it happened, to teach you something. Okay? And um, release it. Visualize pulling that energy out of yourself and releasing it um, any way you want. Release the demon. Release it. I don't know. This is for anyone who can relate to this. If it means anything to anybody at all. So, peace.